pros and welcome to the camel vlog and i'll tell you we're into day i don't know whatever it is of the lockdown but it's okay i'm starting to get used to it now and, and it's good for our countries and our people uh the citizens we're all going to get together make sure we wash our hands use sanitizer but most importantly stay home we've got to protect each other and hey india went in the lockdown today that's 1.4 billion people i'm not going to have a whinge anyway First of all, I'd like to welcome, we've got a Jeffrey at last. Uh, I'd like to thank Brando for painting that up uh, because I was feeling a bit lonely. Uh, Mumi's our cameraman today. Jamar out there, Mwah. send your love, brother. Anyway, what do I want to talk about today? The other day we, uh, we mentioned you've got to start to make some noise, you've got to get out there, you've got to get Facebook going, you've got to get that uh, mannequin in your window changed because your window to the world is your website. But not only is your website the window of the world, you are, all right? And that means that uh, your company, yourself, you've got to start making some noise. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about noise. So I, I wanted to give you some examples. And a good mate of mine, uh, John Dwight, JD, who's just an absolute marketing guru in Australia and a lot of the rest of the world, uh, he, he is a, a champion about breaking out, being there, making noise, being different. And uh, he's very much into Facebook Live. And uh, he teaches a lot about that. And uh, I've taught him everything I know, JD. I've taught you everything you know, you know that. He'll deny it, of course, but anyway. What I want to talk about, give you some examples. Uh, if you're in that age group, you'll remember the sham whale guy that'd get on and do the infomercials and be selling that uh, thingy that used to clean and it was a cloth, but it was ShamWow. And then he got into all these other demonstration things. Now it was bloody annoying, it was crazy, but everybody remembers him. And I thought of two other guys, it's Australian, but there was one guy, his name was Franco Cozzo, and he had an Italian furniture place in Footscray and Brunswick. And this is going back 40 years ago, but I still remember that guy's infomercials. And I can say it off by heart. And he used to start these ads with Comprati de Franco Cozzo de Metallia in the North of Melbourne, a Futsus Cry and a Brandswicky. Comprati de Franco Cozzo. And you know what? That guy was quoted basically all over Australia, Australia for Brandswicky, which is Brunswick, Futsus Cry, which is Futsus Cry, and North of Melbourne, which is North Melbourne. He was famous, he made noise, he made the cheapest, ugly at ads, but he made an absolute fortune and became, he, if it was these days, he would have been a YouTube sensation with millions of followers. There was another guy, his name was Ken Bruce. Now, Ken Bruce, going back 40 years ago, he owned a furniture store and he decided to get out there and do infomercials. They were all, these were all like one or two o'clock in the morning. And this guy's catchphrase was, Ken Bruce has gone mad, Ken Bruce has gone mad. And the ads would drive you mad. And this guy would dress up as chickens. He dressed up as Madonna. And the whole thing was this uh, camera thing going in and out, in and out going, Ken Bruce has gone mad, Ken Bruce has gone mad. And that was shocking ads. But he made so much noise and sold so much furniture, it wasn't crazy. And for those people that have been around a long time, They'll remember people like, don't say Baba, say Saba. Uh, you know, there was so many ads that were crazy. But the thing about it was that this was pre-internet. This was pre-social media. And these people made a lot of money. That's making noise. Now, do you have to do that? No, I don't want you to get out there and start saying, Comprati de Franco Cozzo. I don't want you to do that. And I don't want you to say, Ken Bruce has gone mad, Ken Bruce has gone mad. And uh, what was the other one? It's the Cranny Granny, which was an advertisement for cranberry juice. I don't want you to do any of that. But what I want you to do is consider putting a YouTube channel up, putting uh, an embedded video into your website, and talk about your business. Talk about interesting things. Crack a couple of jokes. You are the window to the world now, and your business is there. You're the spokesperson. You've got to relate to people and interact with them without them coming into your store, without them, you going to visit them. And the only way to do that is you've got to learn to make some noise. You don't have to be crazy, 
but you need uh, YouTube, you need even Facebook Live, having a bit of chat. Just like those customers were uh, sitting in your store, if you were going to visit them, talk to them like that. Tell them about products and services, all right? Do the same with your Facebook. Get that YouTube video and post it in Facebook. Uh, the next one we'll talk about, the next video we'll talk about how to get your social media up and running. But what I want to talk about this morning, just quickly, get some noise. Be a Frank Arcozzo, be a, a Ken Bruce, be a ShamWow salesman, but just tone it down a little bit. Talk about the awesome Duda platform. Talk about your awesome business. Hey, it's tough out there and it may not bring you in a lot, but it's, it's getting you that the customer's still seeing something rather than you being totally silent. Make some noise. So I want to give you all up. I want to say hello to JD. Thanks very much, mate, for a bit of motivation today. And uh, just want to wish everyone else a great day. We can make it through this team. We can, right? It's just a, a little bit of a tough time, but we will make it through. No matter where you are in the world, we're going to do this. So to all my friends, to everyone at Duda, we love you. Uh, we, we understand it's tough for everyone, uh, but we're going to make this through. All right? So get out there. Make some noise. Don't be silent. So yeah.